Hi everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today, I'll show you how to install Active Directory in the new Windows Server 2022. Right, so let's do just do a quick check system information. You can see that this uh, I'm using the Windows Server 2022 data center. Okay, first step is to go to Manage, select Add Feature and Roles, and then add the Add Role and Feature Wizard. On the first screen, you know, just read through some of the information, right? Um, for AD, right, you just click on Next, and then select Role Base or Feature Base Installation. Click Next, select a server. Right, so if it's a brand new install and you have not joined with any other domain, you should only see one machine right here, right? So you can select on it and then click next. Over here, select Active Directory Domain Services. Review the features, right? So we're only installing AD uh, domain services right now. So just click on Add Features, then select and click next. Right, you can leave the rest of the feature as default and then select next if you are integrating with your azure active directory you can find out more and also configure the office 365 with azure active directory connect configuration right in this tutorial we will not touch on this uh, in the future tutorial we'll talk about how do you configure the uh, azure ad connect click on next Right, confirm the selection and then click on install. It takes a bit of time to install all the necessary tools and services. Right, I'll fast forward this and then we'll come back um, to configure AD after that. You can choose to close the window, right, and then you will see and you can basically find out. Uh, the status of the installation from notification over here, right? So uh, we're going to keep the installation progress screen online so we know when it finishes the installation. Okay, once the installation progress finishes, you would have installed the Active Directory domain services in the server itself. Next, what you want to do is to click on promote this server to a domain controller. Okay, there are a few options here. For brand new install, select add a new forest and then key in your uh, root domain name. So there are a couple of best practices for on-prem AD deployment. For me, I like to put in a internal or, you know, a, a couple of keywords to, to distinguish between a external public domain as well as a internal domain that I'm using for internal use. So I usually put IN dot in front of the actual domain that I have, right? So IN dot dpsersian dot com. Then click on next. Okay, uh, the DSRM or the restore mode password is important, right? If you want to recover your Active Directory in case something goes wrong. So it's important to remember the password or put it down, save it in a secure location. Okay, click next. If you have a DNS set up in your environment, you can always uh, create a DNS delegation. Right? Uh, if not, just select next. Take note the NetBIOS uh, domain name has a restriction since it's uh, NetBIOS, right, of a maximum of 15 characters. If you enter anything more than 15 characters, uh, it will get truncated, right? So do take note of that, right? So I'm going to use DPS ASEAN. Click Next. I'm not recommend changing the default folders as you know you have to remember them. And if you integrate um, with, let's say, SIEM and you need to collect the uh, logs using an agent, 
you will need to remember the default directory. So keep it as default and then click next, right? So you'll see uh, the selection. You can always uh, copy down the script. And if you want to automate some of this provisioning, uh, especially in your lab environment, you can copy down the script and use PowerShell to automate uh, future installation process. Right, but for this tutorial, we're just going to click on next. You'll verify all the prerequisite for you to promote this server to a domain controller. You see a lot of warnings. Um, it's usually because there might be machines that you are running in an environment that needs a uh, weaker cryptography for compatibility mode sake, right? Uh, you know, the, the warnings are there, right? So if you are not doing a production install or you're not too sure whether uh, you know you will you be integrating with older Windows machines, uh, just ignore the warning and click on install. Okay, after the server has rebooted, sign in. Okay, now you should see that under row and server group, you will see Active Directory Domain Services uh, under or being activated, right? It's up and running with a green arrow. Okay, now we have already installed or create a new domain controller. What you can do is to go to Tools, right? And then you can start creating deleting and managing users using the Active Directory users and computers under tools. Okay, that's all uh, for this tutorial. It's a very easy tutorial, um, especially for those who are setting up Active Directory on Prime for your own testing. Hopefully this tutorial helps you to fast start, you know, the uh, deployment of your uh, domain controller in your lab environment. Thank you and stay safe.